Thanks for joining us for Staffing Unplugged, a medical solutions podcast that delves into the world of staffing and recruitment. Each episode, we bring you insightful discussions, expert interviews, and thought-provoking conversations with industry experts. I'm Kristen Dahl, your host, joined today by Kevin Walsh, Vice President of Client Success at Medical Solutions. Thanks for joining us today, Kevin. Thanks, Kristen, for having me on. Can you start by telling us a little bit about your role at Medical Solutions? Yeah, uh, as the vice president of client success, uh, I oversee the account management team. So that includes our MSP, Focus One Solutions, and all our direct and third party client relationships. Uh, our focus is on ensuring client satisfaction through timely job fulfillment, relationship management, and alignment of strategic goals to create a seamless client experience. And your title says it all, Vice President of Client Success. So what are some of the things healthcare organizations should be aware of in order to find that success? Yeah, I immediately think about clinician quality and talent acquisition and retention strategies. Uh, You know, the last few years, the focus on cost reduction has overshadowed the importance of attracting and retaining the right clinicians. Uh, You know, clinicians are demanding flexibility. Um, and they're increasingly mobile, especially with the expansion of the, the compact licensure. So things like burnout, um, decreased job satisfaction, and high turnover ratios, they can contribute to a decreased level of patient care. Um, healthcare organizations should prioritize creating an appealing workplace through a strong culture, transparent leadership, um, growth opportunities, and fair compensation. It's not just about paying the most, but creating an environment that makes people want to come back. Uh, You know, the number one focus should be on retaining the talent you have, but you also need to make sure that you have strong recruitment support, whether that be permanent or contingent labor. Um, You you need to, you know, help supplement gaps uh, with uh, top talent. And you mentioned clinician burnout. That's a big issue that could factor into retention. So can you talk about some of the things organizations can do to cut down on burnout? Yeah, in a recent webinar with Medical Solutions, um, Don Sewell, who is a professor at the MIT Sloan School of Management, he shared research on nurse attrition. Um, He talked about identifying uh, unhealthy subcultures in your organization and then learning from staffing agencies whose best practices typically center around uh, treating clinicians like um, patients or customers. And and this helps employees feel a a greater sense of value and, and belonging. Um, also, Patty Artley, who is Medical Solutions CNO, um, she has extensive bedside and nursing leadership experience, and she advocates for um, enhancing staff retention by prioritizing flexibility. Um, she often discusses the importance of creating an environment that is accommodating to a diverse set of workers at different stages in their career. So um, think, for example, uh, you know, shorter shifts for senior team members or working mothers. Um, and this allows for a more balanced work-life dynamic. Um, and adding this level of f- flexibility, it actually helps you retain workers that you might have otherwise lost. Kevin, overall, healthcare organizations are dealing with issues across the board, especially coming out of a worldwide health pandemic with a nursing shortage. Can you discuss why it's so important to address staffing issues and what happens if you don't? Yeah, I, I think it's simple. You know, neglecting issues like burnout or high staffing ratios, it, it can compromise patient care, it decreases morale, it creates operational inefficiencies, and results in a financial strain, which ultimately impacts the, the health system's reputation. Absolutely. And what you're describing kind of sounds like a domino effect when at the end of the day, quality patient care should really be the number one priority. hundred uh, percent. Patient care is the foundation of trust and satisfaction that any community is going to have with the healthcare system. Moving on now from all those challenges, I'm curious, what are some of the positive trends that you're seeing that make you excited about what might still be to come for healthcare staffing? Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about the continued influence of technology. Uh, in healthcare staffing, uh, we rolled out our Ciro platform to our clients and our clinicians, and this uh, improves our ability to make quality candidate matches. It provides enhanced data analytics and it streamlines the onboarding process. Um, I also see this leading more to um, self-service options, which aligns with what many clients are looking for these days. 
I'm also an advocate for, for transparency. Um, it's exciting to see our industry increasingly embracing visibility and openness among organizations. Um, misinformation often stems from a lack of understanding. And I believe that our service benefits both clients and clinicians, and we bring significant value. And the more openly that we can demonstrate that value, the stronger our partnerships become. And Kevin, can you expand on that? What are some of the specific things that we're doing to integrate more transparency into the industry? Yeah, transparency is everywhere, uh, especially in client and clinician rates. Um, contrary to previous assumptions, uh, agencies don't set bill rates. Um, the market trends guide the decision making and clients control the costs by continually adjusting rates. And, and our de data platform uh, provides extensive information and helps clients make informed decisions that align with their goals. Um, and then on, on the clinician side, clinician pay rates, those are they're accessible on our website. Everybody can see them. Um, I just see both of these scenarios as positive shifts in our industry. And do you feel that increased transparency has led to any changes with how the industry operates overall? Yeah, I, you know, we, we've uh, identified cost savings by adjusting rates for clinicians who live near client facilities. Um, you know, we previously avoided working with any individuals that lived within a specific distance uh, to prevent the use of traveler rates uh, for local talent. And adjusting that philosophy has helped us maximize regional talent utilization for our clients, which delivers a, a financial benefit to them. Um, and then adding visibility here has also, uh, it helps them prioritize temp to berm uh, conversion targets. And to me, that sounds like a win-win for both clinicians and healthcare organizations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the way we see it, clinicians in your geographic area, that's your workforce. Um, and if you need our help in mobilizing them, we're, we're here to do that. And before we end today, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about AI. It seems like the big topic that everybody is talking about. So what are your thoughts on AI and staffing? Yeah, uh, AI can transform staffing by automating manual processes. You know, it frees up teams to focus on the, the high value human centric actions. Um, you know, it's a little bit cliche, but you know, people say, you know, instead of replacing people, AI is going to shift the tasks that they perform. So think of how much time a, a recruiter spends reviewing resumes or collecting onboarding paperwork. Uh, you know, AI can create efficiencies in those areas, and that's going to really lead us to reevaluate which skills are most important in those roles. Well, before I let you go today, is there anything else you'd like to mention that I haven't already asked you? Yeah, I mean, just that our, our commitment to service strategy and technology will continue. Um, our goal is to leverage the tech advancements as a way of enhancing the human touch tailored solutions that we're known for. Perfect note to end on. Thank you so much for joining us today, Kevin. Thanks for having me. And thank you to our listeners. Be sure to join us every month as we unravel the complexities of healthcare staffing recruitment, providing expert insights and actionable advice to help you with your recruitment efforts. In the meantime, visit our website, medicalsolutions.com to learn more about our healthcare staffing ecosystem and how we can help your facility reach its full potential. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.